PS Plus has delivered another fantastic month for gamers. If you look at what it has offered since the PS5 launch and add in P the PS Plus collection, is PS Plus becoming the best value in gaming? Looking game by game, it's hard to argue. Okay, so we've had about three good months of PS mm -hmm. Plus because PS Plus has been abysmal for like four years, basically. It's been bad. Yeah. Like, I haven't downloaded anything off PS Plus in years, you know? Um, so the last three months have been pretty dope. Even though, ironically, I still haven't got anything because all the games they have for it I already own. Um, but I think it's good. But I don't care if I'm going to sound pessimistic. I think this train's going to end eventually. I think... Um, here's the thing. I want to say that they're doing this uh, to get people to buy PS5. Nobody could buy even buy a PS5 anyway, you know? Yeah. Um, so I, I think, think it, yeah, this gravy train's going to end soon. I think by next month, that's it. We're going to go back to whack titles again. This month, they didn't even offer a single PS5 title because there are no PS5 titles. <laughs> go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I think um, it's just to keep people engaged with PS Plus subscriptions and stuff because they still have to keep the PS4 people happy. So they get they get they're really give, giving you good deals, but that's going to end as soon as. Um, I I don't think it'll be even next month. I think as soon as the uh, as um, oh yeah no no it is next month because once Returnal and all that stuff comes out and by May for sure it's going to go back. They're going to go back to offering you uh, trash. Yeah. Because <laughs> then the PS5 games start rolling out right, and even if you have the cross gen stuff, they're going to push the PS5 stuff. So once they have that, they'll be like, yeah, just buy that. Those buy the seventy dollar game. No, no, we're we're gonna give you a Binding of Isaac again on PS Plus or some other shit. You know, here Life of Black Tiger is free. Go yeah, right there you go. Yeah. The illest game ever. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna go back to trash. Yeah, so far. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think they're gonna go back to trash. I just think that they're probably tr trying to keep people. I noticed that they did this thing twice. What they're doing with Final Fantasy, where they're essentially uh, to coincide with the launch of the you know PlayStation 5 version of a game they released the PlayStation 4 version on plus yeah but the caveat being if you want to upgrade from the uh, from the PlayStation plus version of you know, let's say control you have to buy the game again yeah same thing with Final Fantasy same thing with Final Fantasy it's an interesting sort of strategy. I don't know if it's working, but they they did they did it twice. I don't know because look at Control last year. The, the it was Remedy's best selling year, and they didn't put out a single new game. The only thing they had yeah. was still Control. Yeah. So maybe yeah. What did did that thing? I mean, did that 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 uh, PlayStation Plus thing give them a shot in the arm? Who knows? Man. I don't know. But Who knows? Yeah, I, I I wouldn't go. So, by the way, that quote or whatever the best value in gaming that's off often attributed to Xbox Live. So I think he's trying to say, is this better than Xbox Live? No, it's not. Game Pass. I mean, the Game Pass. Game no. Pass. Excuse me. You yeah, know, yeah. Game Pass. Would, Game, yeah, Pass, Game Pass gives you like what is it? A hundred free games every month? Like, come on, bro. Yeah. You can't beat no. that. Play it. PS Plus cannot compete with that. PS Plus could have way better games on it, but it's still three games a month. You know. And, and then can, also, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, if you miss out on that month, then you're screwed. That's it. Like, you can say, like, oh, it's great that February's games are good or December's games are good. Like, but can you get them now, though? Like, if someone was like, roll up and get PSN Plus now, any game before this month, they have nothing to it. So it's difficult to really compare it. Yeah. And plus, I really can't say it is good value because again there's so little choice in the games um i remember when there was a time when you used to like be able to like vote for the games that are coming out for that month they did it for like one month and that's it it's like why like, pe people like that because then they they had some sort of input like as, as, as to what games they get free now it's just like oh we don't know like there's no real trend anymore it's just whatever's flavor of the month. I mean, I went through and looked at the games. Um, it seems like, again, Final Fantasy VII, because the PS5 version is out, so they want you to pay more for it. Um, Farpoint, VR game, Remnant from the Ashes, a really good good game, I'm not going to lie. And then the Marquette game, that's actually launching on, like, day, day, day and date on the PSN Plus. And I actually did some research and looked at that game. It's a game made by like three people. 
Um, again, I, I'm not using that as a dig. I'm just saying that this is a game that I knew nothing about. I found the trailer for on YouTube. It has like it has like 128 views. Wow. So I'm like, so I'm like, this game came literally from nowhere and it's on PSN Plus. Like, why is that? Like, they still haven't put the order on there or any of the smaller on. Uncharted games, but yet um, they put this up there. It's like Gra- okay, it's Gravity Rush weird. hasn't been on there yet. Neither any of them. You know, I, I think. Like they like Sony has a really strong library of games that have not been on Plus yet that they could p- put on there just to help entice people more on. But Marquette, I don't. Again, I'm not saying that it should not be on there. I'm just surprised that a game that low key is on there. But fair enough. If they want more eyes, then that's good good for them because again i went through i seen the trailer it's like a puzzle game i i am excited and i will be playing it so i guess it done its job but yeah in terms of value i just don't see it and there's one thing i have to point point out because it's pissing me off um they keep pe- people keep mentioning that you get russian clank for free like next month or something or like month after even if you're not a PSN Plus sub- subscriber, you just get the Ratchet & Clank game for free. But I'm like, dude, first of all, that was a PSN Plus game, and it's in the PSN Plus collection, and it's probably one of the worst performing Ratchet & Clank games. They're pretty much giving it away at this point, so I don't think that's a really big point to point out. Wait, which Ratchet & Clank game? The remake, reboot. Yeah, the one that's that a good game. The film. Great game, actually. Um, but yeah, um, that is um, kind of weird, though, you know. But you're giving, I don't know, it, it, that is kind of weird. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not going to be yeah, giving go away for free. Yeah. Like, you don't need to be a subscriber or anything. Yeah, that's it's just like weird. If, if you have a Sony account, it's there for free. It's like, well, you have a PS5 and you're a PSN Plus guy, then you get it for free anyway. So it's like, yeah. it's like re, it's like being rehashed twice now. It's like, why? Like, yeah, that's odd. Please give something that's not been on there as like a, hey, this is new. You know, it's not been on there. But yeah, I, again, you know, I'm I'm saying what I say. We may get one more good month out of PS Plus, and then it's going to be just because they've run out of games. You know, they've run out of games. Basically, it's nothing out, and everything's getting delayed. So it's just going to go back to being trash again. Um, Sony is definitely not uh, you know the best value out there. You know, certainly not I for still... me because I'm like again three months in a row. I'm like I had all the good games I would have wanted. They're already on. I have them, so I'm like, what's the point? You know, I think the but. I think the good run will stay for most of this year, but I think after this year it's going to stop. Because I think after that then then Sony have said, Okay, you know what? The PS five guys have their have their PS fives. So we don't we can't entice more, so you just need to just ride ride out the wave. So I think it's just like a first year of like, hey, PS five, Sony in the headlines, let's try and get as much ears and eyes on our service as possible. And I think after that it's gonna just die down. I don't know, man. I'm going to push back on that a little bit, Brian. Okay. What do they have a year's worth of stuff? I, I, I honestly don't see this. I don't. I honestly don't see this extending for more than two months at most. This gravy train, like, you know. If they keep doing what they're doing, in that they mix in like big name stuff in there, like your Final Fantasies, your controls, and all sorts, and also mix in titles. That are day day and date on there, like Oddworld, the Marquette game, and whatnot. Then I think they'll keep enough eyes on there to ride out most of the year. And I think, well, until probably September, give or take, because by then it's the holiday season, and usually the holiday seasons they don't need any boost. So it's well, let's say ride out until the holiday period. Yeah. So September, October. Blitz uh, to make it. He he says, "What about if they put Keen on? They're not putting Keen on PS Plus. They want to sell you that game. They're not putting that on PS Plus. I guarantee you that." This ain't no PlayStation All Stars. Yeah, yeah. So, you know they're not giving that shit away. I guarantee you that. So so basically, Brian, what you're telling me is we're gonna get so the big marquee games on PS Plus are gonna be old PS4 games for the rest of the year. Like those are gonna be yeah. their big ones. Yeah, and it'll, and it'll be titles that people know about that have been out there and they have seen them. So I am willing to bet from then till now, it'll be one 
first party exclusive from Sony that's like one of the big dogs. So maybe Zero Dawn, maybe oh, God of War, big dogs. maybe. I, I want to say Spider Man, but I feel like that's a bit too much for PSN Plus. Unless well, it's another DLC. <laughs> um, by the way, to make it says that they are was... putting, he, they are putting um, Kina on PS Plus, and that's confirmed. That's a mistake. Like that's a game you want to sell. People are actually hyped about that game. That would be bad if they put it on PS Plus because that game actually looks good. You know. Wow. Okay. It's a forty dollar game though. What? Up? Okay, I got to look into this. Now you got me all fucked up to make it. <laughs> it's a forty dollar game. Okay, that's good. That's good. You know, looks looks like a like a more budgety game, but I don't think it's like PS Plus like. I'll stop myself because I'm going to get people mad. <laughs> oh, I, I was going to say because it doesn't look like PS Plus filler. <laughs> oh, I'll just say that's what that's what PS Plus kind of is, man. Yes, you know? PS Plus has decent games. To be fair, like you can take that away from it. It has good games every now and then. I mean, if you're a, again, I'm I'm just seeing this through Tony's perspective. But like, if you're a Johnny Come Lately gamer, sure. <laughs> but if you're like you know a guy who keeps away games all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point? Uh, it's not okay. If you're just a, a person who has plus and that's it, then you, you're getting a fairly reasonable deal. I have to admit. Like, I am pretty much one of those guys now where all my PlayStation games are through plus because, for the most part, I don't support Sony that much. 